Hey food day lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And happy early Thanksgiving as well, or Thanksgiving Eve if you're located in the US. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your families and lots of blessings and health coming into the new year. Today, I want to show the Mini and Max eye brush sets from Refer. These brushes were sent my way from Refer. As always, Refer, thank you so much for giving a smaller channel such as myself the opportunity um, to be able to review these brushes for you guys, show comparisons, and what better of a time than now because Refer is running their Black Friday sale. This is actually the best sale they have for the entire year. A lot of the brushes are actually 50% off, some of them even more than 50% off, so it's a really awesome time if you're looking into shopping Refer. And also, the Mini and Max eye brush sets were sold out, and they did just come back just in time for the Black Friday sale, so I just knew I had to do my best to get this video up for you guys. As um, at the time of I'm filming this, the Mini and Max eye brush sets are both still in stock. Of course, it's subject to change, but I really wanted to make sure I got this up before they sell out because these are really amazing. So basically, what Refer wanted to do is take feedback from the community and some of their top eye brushes, such as the 13, they're 0, 1, 14, number 2, and they're 15. So these were some of their top used fan favorite brushes. What they wanted to do was create mini and larger eye brushes that are pretty much dupes of these favorites but just smaller and bigger versions, which I thought was a really nice idea, especially off shapes that they know the community that we really love. So yeah, I'll definitely be comparing um, the Mini and Max sets to these. And then I also have some Hakuhodo, Sonya G comparisons for you guys as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. And obviously these are fresh out of the packaging. I haven't had a chance to wash them yet. I do work full time, so I've been really busy and I'm a mom, but yeah, I definitely wanted to get this up for you guys. So this is basically first impressions, but I definitely wanted to get some comparisons as well. So this is the Zero One Mini. And here it is next to the standard Zero One. So this is the mini version of the Zero One. Also, I didn't get time to get measurements. I know I usually am pretty good at getting you guys the measurements for each and every brush. Didn't have time to do that today, but I did check. Refer does have the measurements of the new mini and max eye brush sets on their website. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the dimensions of each brush that I'll be showing today. And then we have the Max 01. So here it is next to the Mini. And you can see the Max is quite a bit bigger. And I honestly love the original 01, which is right here. It is such a versatile brush. It's that perfect paddle shape eye brush where you can pack shimmer on the lid if you wanted to, deepen up the outer V, transition shade. So having a larger and a mini version of this brush, I was really excited for because it's truly one of my favorites. So yeah, this is really cool. I really love it. I'm super excited, especially for the mini because I have really small hooded lids. So I'm psyched for that. And honestly, even the Max is gonna be really good for transition shades since it's a little, you know, obviously bigger than the original. And I'll show the Max next to it here. Yeah, they just did a wonderful job 
creating these brushes. And I know they're gonna be fan faves for sure. And I don't know, I don't think the Mini and Max eye sets are going to be permanent. So I'm not trying to create FOMO, but if you are interested in picking them up, I don't know how long they'll be in stock for or if they'll come back or be made part of their permanent collection. So I would definitely, if you're interested, check them out. Oh, and most important of all is the both the Mini and Max eye brush sets are 50% off right now. So they're actually only $60 each and they each come with five brushes. So there's five Mini, five Max. So you're getting five eye brushes for $60. That is such a steal especially for handmade Japanese brushes, as we know. So this is the perfect time to pick them up. All right, and then we've got the 15 mini. So here's another one I'm very excited for. Again, because I do have smaller lids, this has a really nice taper and it's a really nice size. And look at the 15. So this is the original 15. You can see how much smaller the mini is. So that's really cool. And actually I love the 15. It's one of my all time favorite eye blending brushes and it's not too large for my hooded lids, but having this mini version, I'm really excited. And then we get the 15 Max. Yep, 15 Max, here it is next to the 15 Mini. And you can see the Max is quite a bit thicker. You can really see at the ferrule how much thicker the Max is. And I can't wait to wash these and see them fluff out to their full potential. And here it is next to the original 15. And the Mini has more of a taper which makes sense because it is smaller, so you want it to be more directional. So I really love how they gave that little taper as well. And I'm sure the Max, once I wash it, it's gonna be a lot bigger than the original, which I've got here. So yeah, that was a really nice, great idea as well. All right, and then we've got the 13 mini oh my gosh and the 13 is truly one of my favorite brushes of all time as well because it really reminds me of the Hakuhodo J5529 and let me see so here it is next to the original 13 and you can really see how much smaller the mini is look at that I don't even know if I even have a little detail brush exactly this size. I think this is pretty much as small as it goes for me. So this is cool having it even smaller. And again, if you're like me and you have hooded lids, these little detail brushes are the best. And I really love the mini, that's super cool. All right, and let's see the 13 next. Here's, ooh, look how much bigger the 13 Max is. And honestly, having this shape in a bigger version as well is awesome because it's, see how this one doesn't have the taper? It's more flat, which really allows you to deepen out the outer V very nicely. And it's got great, great blending power as well. And then I'll show it next to the original. Oh yeah, look how much bigger the Max is. That's super cool. And they really managed to keep them all very similar shapes, even though they're different sizes. Super neat. Wow, this is one I'm really excited for. Honestly, I'm excited for them all, as you can tell, but <laughs> this one's gonna be really nice. And I'm gonna be doing my makeup tomorrow um, to go to Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm going to try all these. I'm going to wash these tonight and try them tomorrow. I wish I had time to try them before I filmed this video, but it was really tough. <laughs> so just 
wanted to get it up, get the video up, but all right. And then here's another exciting one. So this is the two mini and you can really see this is a nice detail packing brush. So here it is next to the original number two. And look how neat it truly is the perfect little mini version. I love that. And again, having small hooded lids, this mini two is going to be perfect. I'm really excited. It's got nice flex to it too, but still enough density in the ferrule. Wow, that's cool. Let's see how many times I say that in this video. <laughs> I really am excited though. When I saw these were coming out, I'm like, this is awesome. So here's the two max. This one would be really nice for quick eye looks for me too, because I have smaller lids. So here it is next to the mini. Wow. You can really see how much bigger the max is and the thickness to it as well. All right, and then here it is next to the original. Turn them on their sides. These I'm really excited for as well because honestly, my eye, my refer eye brushes are truly some of the most used eye brushes I have in my collection. And I own a lot of luxury Fude, and I just feel like Refer's eye brushes are just such true workhorses because their blending power is just phenomenal. So they just do a really wonderful job at packing shadow, blending shadow. They're just truly amazing, and quality is great as well. These feel really soft also. All right, and then we have the 14 mini. So this is another awesome little blender for small hooded lids, detail work. This is another one I don't know if I have as small of a little blender like this in my collection. So this is really exciting. And here it is next to the original 14. And they really kept that nice taper. Even though it's a tiny little guy. So here they are next to each other. And then last but not least, here it is next to the 14 Max. Ooh, I'm really excited for the Max too because it's a really perfect blender without being too big and it's got that really nice taper to it. Here it is next to the original all the way on the right. Yeah, so the Max is longer for sure. It's super exciting. I really hope Refer makes these part of their permanent line because, I mean, these are just wonderful. What a great idea that they came up with. And I just love how they listen to the community and our feedback, what we really love. And yeah, this is so cool. Oh, you guys, I'm just so excited if you're wanting to pick these up. The Black Friday is the Black Friday sale is going to be your perfect opportunity. It really is. I mean, five eye brushes for sixty dollars Japanese eye brushes. That's insane, in my humble opinion. All right, so now, and I hope this video isn't going to be too long for you guys, but I also want to do some comparisons to some other eye brushes I have in my collection. So we'll start with the zero one. The comparison I got for the zero one is the Hakahodo J5523. So this one I've showed on my channel many times. It is loved and abused. One of my first Hakahodo brushes. 
And here it is next to the Max O1. So you can really see the Max 01 is definitely longer. And the, I'd say the Hakahodo, the ferrule right here is pinched a little bit more. So the Max 01 has a thicker ferrule diameter. So that's cool. It's going to add some nice versatility having all these different sizes in my favorite shape of all time. And then here is the 01 Mini next to the Hakuhodo J5523 and the Max. So very exciting having this shape in a larger and smaller version that is so cool and I feel like the mini zero one you can definitely use with shimmers and it's got that really nice thickness and the way it tapers towards the top it's gonna be a nice lay down brush but I could also use it to deepen up my outer V as well so it's a really nice versatile little guy see did I have any other comparisons to this one let me see yep I think I did oh maybe not nope that was it for this one okay all right and then we've got the 15 mini so this one definitely want to compare with my Hakuhodo J146 And the J146 from Hakuhodo is one of my favorite detail brushes. And let me see, 15. And again, here's the original 15. So the mini 15 is gonna be more the size of Hakuhodo J146. And then we've got the Max. So for the Max comparisons, I brought out Hakuhodo B142, which I believe is now labeled as the J142. Mine is older inventory, but here they are next to each other. Put this next to the max so yeah 15 max and they're definitely different shapes so I just love having different shapes and sizes depending on what you're going for for the day so awesome I really love the 15 mini and I think the max is gonna be really nice too because of that taper even though it's a little bit larger um, the taper is what's going to really be amazing. So then we got the 13 mini. All right, so this guy, again, here's the original. And then we've got it next to, okay, this is the one I wanted to show, the Hakuhodo J5529. So you can see, and the Hakuhodo, just to put things into perspective, I'm sure many of you own and adore this brush, but the 5529 from Hakuhodo is a really small brush. So seeing how much smaller the 13 mini is to it really shows what a tiny little detail brush this is. So that's really cool. And it's not as thick as the 5529. So this is gonna really give some wonderful detail work. Let's see and then here's the 13 max so and then just to show how much bigger the 13 max is to the 5529 it really is like a bigger version of the 5529 so that is really cool because it's more flat at the top it's not tapered the mini is more tapered at least pre-wash that could change when I wash it 
Let me see if I, okay, yeah. And then I had one more. Is this the one I wanted? Yes, okay, so I also have the Sonia G Mini Booster. And as many as you of you know, the Mini Booster is also a really small brush, so look how much smaller the Mini is next to it. Just to put that into perspective. <laughs> Mini booster I use for detail work and deepening the outer V, so yeah, that just really shows how much smaller that is. And then, um, let me see. Oh yeah, then I can compare. So this is the Sonia G Crease Pro. So here it is next to the 13 Max. And then the Mini. So yeah, I just try to bring out as many brushes as you guys are all probably pretty familiar with so you can get a real gauge on the size of these brushes. Right. Oh, and I also wanted to bring this out earlier. This is the Sonia G Crease 2. So this brush is no longer available currently as I'm filming this. But, you know what, I wanted to show this next to was the 15 Max. So here's the Sonia G Crease, Crease 2 next to the Max. So the 15 Max is longer and a little bit more tapered as well. Yeah, definitely more tapered. But then again, this is pre-wash, so that could change. Right, and then we'll get to these packer brushes here. So again, this is the two mini and the two max. And I definitely wanted to compare with the Hakuhodo B004G. So this, in my opinion, is the perfect comparison. Now the Hakuhodo one is more tapered. You can see it's got that really nice diamond taper to it, but so does the rougher. It's just not as prominent as the Hakuhodo. And it's actually because the rougher has more bristles packed in. It's nice and thick, which is awesome. So I'm glad to have just different slight variances between them. Let's see, what else did I bring out? Oh, just for comparisons, I brought out the Hakuhodo J242. And mine is dirty. <laughs> well loved don't mind it but here it is next to the max o2 max so it's definitely the o2 max is almost really i was gonna say identical to the b004g but again it is thicker but i'd say lengthwise shape wise it's really really similar and then let's see oh yeah and then i wanted to also I have so many brushes just sprawled out here. Um, oh yeah, okay, so I also have the Sonia G Flat Definer. So this is the undyed goat version. And I wanted to definitely show it to the O2 Mini. These are great comparisons. So if you have the Sonia G Flat Definer and you love it, this is a great one, great alternative to it. Because I don't think the flat definer, the undyed version is still available. I could be wrong. I can't remember off the top of my head. So the refer is a wonderful alternative. Really, really, really close. As I was going through my collection, trying to find brushes that were similar to these to do comparisons, I was like, oh wow, this is like the perfect, perfect little comparison there. Then I also wanted to bring out the Refer 28. So just so you can see with the O2 Mini and Max next to the 28, because I know a lot of you love the Refer 28. So I definitely wanted to show them next to one another. And the 28 is definitely thinner than the Max. So they're all gonna give and perform differently. So in my opinion, it warrants having multiples. 
And the 28 is more narrow, as you can see, so it's going to really get really get it where you want it. But then again, the Max 02 is going to really pack it on, pack shimmers on really well. If you've got harder pressed um, shimmers, then I would say the O2 Max is going to be your best friend because really thick. But again, if you have small lids like I do, the O2 Mini is going to be great. And O2 Mini is also going to be wonderful for inner corner highlight, brow bone highlight. Super exciting. Oh, and I also got the Sonia G Soft Shader. And the Soft Shader is really nothing like these, but it's one of my favorite, actually, yeah, it's one of my favorite packer brushes. But you can see the Sonia, it definitely rounds off at the top. And the Sonia is actually thicker than the Max. So just so you can get an idea if you have the Sonia G one. If you have the soft shader and you love it, here it is next to these guys. And first impressions, especially comparing the Max to the Sonia. This, the Sonia does have a little bit more movement, obviously, because of the shape and the density. But the rougher, it, it also still has great movement also, so it's not stiff. The O2 Max is not stiff at all. All right. And then we got the last guys here. So the 14 Mini and Max. I'll definitely show them next to Hakuhodo J146. Wow. I just can't get over how teeny tiny these ma uh, minis are really teeny tiny which is going to be a hooded girl's eyes best friend <laughs> i'm super pumped to use these little guys oh and this is the hakahoto j5529 next to the 14 mini and max as well as the hakahoto j146 and then we'll just pull out, again, the Sonia G Mini Booster all the way on the right. So you can see they're all different, honestly. I mean, they're all different shapes, sizes, densities. So I'm really happy to have all of them. I can't wait to play with them. And I really love refer brushes especially for like shadows that maybe are harder to blend they really have wonderful blending abilities they're just wonderful brushes great workhorse brushes they really are awesome that's super exciting like once now that i had pulled out brushes to compare for you guys and did some comparisons with these. It makes me that much more excited to use them because they're so much different than some of the brushes I use and love all the time. Similar, but different enough. So that's exciting. Now I didn't have time to put together, I really wanted to do a refer recommendations video since the Black Friday sale is going on right now. Um, but just a few honorable mentions um, I recently received the Refer 31. As you can see, she's loved. <laughs> she's dirty, but I'm usually not into these almost duo fiber-like foundation brushes. I mostly use my Sonia G Jumbo Base, but this is mixed with goat and synthetic. And you would think because it's goat and you're using it with creams or liquids that it would be scratchy on the face, but it really wasn't. Now, I don't have sensitive skin, so my opinion could differ between somebody who does, but I was actually really pleasantly surprised by this brush. I really like it. And of course, this one's on sale as well. Really good deal going on for this brush. I forget the exact amount, but yeah, if you're looking for a new foundation brush, this is great. Really love that one. And I've definitely shown this on my channel before, the 36. This one's also loved and abused. 
This I use for either concealer or my favorite is um, for my eye primer. I love this for my eye primer. It's really cool and it's got that slope. That's what I designate that for as eye primer. And then a couple or one more I had pulled out. This one I haven't shown before either. It's the Refer number 30, which I'm sure you guys have all seen on YouTube many times before. But if you do not want a lot of powder, you want a nice goat powder brush, but you don't want it to be, you don't want a brush that's gonna really pack that powder on. This one is really fluffy. I mean, look at the movement. It's not directional whatsoever, so it's really going to just lightly powder over your face with such a veil. It's just got great movement to it. I really like this one a lot. Yeah, you can just see how fluffy it is. Beautiful. So again, if you're someone that doesn't want a lot of powder packed on, you want a nice goat brush, this is lovely. And I wanted to compare it with the Hakuhodo B104, which is now labeled, I believe, as the J104. Now, my Hakuhodo, I've been wanting to do this comparison, but it has been in a brush guard. So normally, it fluffs out identical to the Refer 30. And you can actually see the lengths are like identical to one another. So if you want the 104 from Hakuhodo and you don't want to spend the Hakuhodo premium price, especially with all the Hakuhodo price increases recently, then this is going to be a great option. Softness wise, now when I put them on my face, they feel nearly identical. If I run my hands through them, now again, the Hakuhodo has been in a brush guard, so that could be why, but the Hakuhodo feels ever so slightly silkier and not by much at all. And I really think it's because it's been in a brush guard. I bet if I put the rougher in a brush guard, it would feel very similar, if not identical to the Hakuhodo. And it seems like the rougher is larger, but it's not. I, I wish I didn't have this in a brush guard, but storage purposes I some brushes I just have to to store them away but yeah so this is a great one so yeah just a couple honorable mentions there but I think that'll do it for now oh and I really hope refer restocks I know they already did restock once they're beautiful Saibi Koho Goat oh my this is now been washed and I showed this on my channel before. If you're interested in a full review, definitely check out my video showing this brush. But as you can see, just how beautiful those bristles are. They just glow in the light. This is as close as you're gonna get to squirrel in a goat brush. Like you don't even feel the bristles on the skin. They're just beautiful. I won't speak too much about it because it's no longer available as I'm filming this, but I'll definitely be sure to keep you guys updated whenever I see this brush come back in stock. If I do, I will post it on my Instagram stories. Also, I have a Fude Facebook group if you're not already aware. So I post a lot of updates in that Fude Facebook group, which I do have link below. So if you're interested, definitely check out the link for that. And then, of course, on my community tab as well. I always update there as well. So, but yeah, look at that. Even post-wash, like, this brush is phenomenal. I hope they bring it back for anyone who missed out. This would be a beautiful gift for someone as well. It's just such a true luxury. Love that one. And I don't mean to torture you guys because I know it's not in stock right now, but hopefully it will be. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. As always, my refer affiliate link will be down below. And I'm super grateful and appreciative to anybody that uses my link. It does go right back into my channel so I can review brushes for you guys. 
any support is just truly appreciated. And other than that, did you guys pick up these brushes? Are you going to pick them up? Are you excited to pick them up? What are your thoughts? I'm definitely interested to hear them down below. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.